planning today that will cause problems for drivers as they get around Metro Detroit. MDOT beginning work on M5 in Farmington Hills, a project that will cost $11.8 million. The 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson live in Farmington Hills to tell us how it will impact traffic on a busy bridge. Yeah, Anne Marie, I'm actually standing right now on Grand River. You can see uh, there are, well, there's big semi trucks blocking some of the orange barrels. A lot of orange barrels, signs laying down, ready to be stood up. We see MDOT trucks on standby. This Grand River Bridge is a very, very busy one. A lot of traffic, but nearby businesses I've spoken with said they are getting ready for all this traffic to come to a halt. I know. It's a busy restaurant on a busy street. They come here for breakfast. That's the number one. El George's family restaurant is on Grand River right next to M5. Lots of regulars, family from Farmington and Novi. Like Brandon Clark. That's all I eat, honestly, turkey salad. Yeah, and you're not going to stop just because of construction? No, no, I'll figure it out. But when the M5 facelift begins today, the Grand River Bridge will close in both directions, and El George co-owner Diana Galage is worried. In my mind, I think it's going to affect like 75% of business. So that's, uh, I mean, until it starts, we don't really know, but we're worried. M5 itself will remain open during the $11 million project on this 10 mile stretch between 8 Mile Road and 13 Mile Road, but the Grand River Avenue bridge that thousands cross every day. Um, yes, I come across the bridge. That bridge closes today for resurfacing and to add ADA compliant sidewalks in both directions. It's scheduled to reopen in three months. That's mid July. People will find a way to get here. Are you going to find a way? Oh, definitely. The little hope is from uh, people that now they deliver the food, which is DoorDash and Uber Eats and GrabHog. And we have a little hope from them, but maybe even then it's going to take more to drive them around. Well, the work on M5 is scheduled through the fall, and there will be a handful of weekend closures on M5. Meanwhile, the Grand River Bridge will be continuously closed for the next couple of months. Thankfully, we do have Anne-Marie LaFlame to help us get around it. Anne-Marie. All right, Jen, thanks for that live report. There's so many vehicles behind you. You can see what an impact this certainly will make. It all should begin at 9 o'clock, just like Jen said, where Grand River will be closed at M5 through July. Now, M5 closed from 8 miles to 13. We'll have inter intermittent lane closures through September there. So we're looking at nine mile really being your best bet as an alternate route for this project.